<laughs> Welcome back, Nancy Nerds, to Danger by Design. All right, so I'm, I'm maybe a bit excited um, because I got up this morning to film and couldn't remember where I even was in this game because it's been it's been a week. I'm having having some IRL issues. So um, when I looked at the name of the save file and it said photos. Yeah, so this has been the bane of my existence, but somebody gave me a hit. All right, so apparently it is a lot easier to do this in complete pitch blackness with sticky notes. So I went and grabbed my Harry Potter sticky notes that I don't use that often, and I thought this would be amazing to use here. Um, I was told I can use the sticky notes so I can mark where each of these are and stop blowing everything up. So I'm going to put these sticky notes on my computer screen. I know you guys can't see this, but I promise it's, it's pretty epic, guys. It's pretty epic. I mean, they're real cute sticky notes after all as well. Okay, so then I got it th this one. We'll do that one below the, whoop, I'm going to knock, I'm sure you guys are nauseous from the camera motion at this point. <laughs> it's not an earthquake, guys, I promise, it's just, it's just me trying to put sticky notes on a computer screen. It's all good, it's all good. Alright, and then I need the switch, which is right here. Okay, so I got my sticky notes. Um, I'm also realizing that I have absolutely no idea what I'm supposed to do. So I'm going to walk around with these sticky notes on. For just a second, I'm going to read around my sticky notes. Alright, so just if anyone's wondering. <laughs> you should probably write your directions down before applying the sticky notes. Okay. So, yeah, put the slide in there, get the paper, two to nine seconds. So the paper, we're going to expose that for two to nine seconds. Um, and then the developing fluid is seven to 12. The stop bath is no more, so less than five, uh, to use math terms, y'all. Um, and then the fixer, 8 to 15. All right, I got my notes. I'm ready. I'm ready. We're going to do this. Let's see if we can get this done on the first try. So, boop. Put that one in there. I think we already had one in there. All right, so then turn off the lights. I'm so scared. Okay, so I got to do this for two to nine seconds. One, two, three, four, five. All right, and then put it in this for seven to 12. Okay, it should be right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We'll stop at nine. Uh, the stop bath is less than five. Okay. Sticky note says here. One Mississippi, two. And then the thing. Let's fix it for eight to fifteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There. All done. <gasps> One down, three to go. I did it's it. It's a picture of fabric, all right. I did it. I did it. I did it. Okay, I just gotta do it three more times. I can do this. Okay, we're. I'm gonna spare you all of this, and I will be right back. How are you coming in there? It usually only takes me Four, seven minutes. Five, five, six, never more than seven, nine. eight. Shut up, nine. You're messing Good. me up. All done. I'm getting there. Beautiful. Not very interesting, but beautiful. Can't you start saying random numbers? I'm up in here counting. Jeez. Okay, last one. Five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten. Am I done? There. All done. Yeah. Okay. There. I'll just put them in an envelope and I'll be all set. Yes! All right, all right. Okay, let's take the sticky notes off. Yes! Best tip ever! I'm so excited. Oh, that was the best. Yes! Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I gotta give those to Manette. Now I gotta talk to you guys. Ah, oh, you made the prints. Now you get to have the pleasure of delivering them to Monsieur Treckle now. Oh, not Manette. Just kidding. It sounds like you don't like him. He's a conceited nixnuts who thinks far too highly of himself <laughs> and far too little of everyone else to do his job fairly. Tell me how you really feel, jeez. Okay, so... Nobody seems Heather to like him. Heather didn't seem to like him very much either. I refuse to bow and scrape when I'm in his presence, and he resents me for it. He's not used to that. You see, most people are so afraid he'll write something bad about them that as far as they're concerned, whatever Joan Me wants, Jean Me gets. No questions asked. Why does Jean Me need those prints? Heather said that he wants to use them to illustrate an upcoming story about modern fabrics. What's your opinion of Minette's assistant, Heather McKay? Heather's a bright girl. Her crush on me is unfortunate, but I can handle it. Oh, a crush, you say? She has a crush on you? It's obvious to me that she does. Dealing with models the way I do day in and day out, I've gotten pretty good at knowing what women are thinking and feeling. Obviously, you're very humble as well. Does Heather know that you know? I've said nothing to her because although there is no chance that I will ever reciprocate her feelings, oh, well, okay. I see no point in hurting her. Let her have her crush. Eventually she will set her heart on someone else and I will be forgotten. How well do you know J.J. Lane? All right. As well as I care to. The way she's always pulling out that annoying word game and begging people to play. And did you know that she won a lottery back in the States? That's right, she's actually filthy rich. What kind of person models when she's filthy rich? There's something not quite right about that girl. Thanks for your help. Drop by again. It's because she lies and says she's trying to be better at acting, which I really don't agree with. Also, this is an interesting picture with the red and the green. Um, and with the light bulb. And that's like an ear pilot fighter jet person. I don't know. I really like the composition. Like, they're both very similar. They're, like, rounder at the top, and then our neck would be, like, the bottleneck of the light bulb. I Sorry, my artsy side is showing. I have a lot of, of nerdy things besides just, like, math and mysteries and Nancy Drew things. That's not the right door. Where's the door? I heard a bubbler. Sorry. <laughs> Everyone else playing Nancy Gray, focused on solving mystery. Me, dog. Oh, jeez. All right, shut up, phone. We're solving mysteries. Where was he at? He was here. He was here. And I can't skip this. I'm glad I know. But suggestions for suggestion box. Can we skip the travel time, <laughs> please? This is not where I needed to go at all. Was it here? <laughs> oh my gosh, it's, oh, it'd be shorter to go the other way, to just go like down, I can't have a mouse, but like just go like down through the pink and then up through the orange to the yellow. Says the person who's never uh, rode a subway. Are those the photos Minette promised me? Yes. In fact, they came straight from Dieter von Schwesterkrank's darkroom. I printed them up myself. You are quite doué as a photo developer. Bravo for you, Nancy Drew. Merci. I was afraid Ezer had forgotten. So, you had the pleasure of meeting Herr von Schwesterkrank, eh? Listen, this still bugs me. I know he says it like Ezer, but it, he's saying Heather. I mean... <sighs> I don't know. I have mixed feelings. Like, I know in novels, and I'm going to go to the Harry Potter novels, so deal with it. Um, they spell the things how the characters pronounce them. Unless it's, like, Fleur, who is French, 
they don't spell every word exactly how you would say it in a French accent. Some of them, yes, have slight, slight differences. Um, Hagrid's is all messed up. But I don't know how I feel about them spelling his pronunciation of the word Heather like that. I don't know why it bugs me. Does it bug you? All right, just let me know in the comments. Does it bug you that they're spelling the words like the accent? I don't know why it's bugging me, but just just spell the word Heather as normal, and we will hear him say as a as he. Per well, I'm not good at accents. That was horrible. I'm not doing that again. But as he says it, um, ugh, ugh. It sounds like you don't like him. Not like Dieter? That's impossible. Dieter is a very uh, enterprising young man, which in most cases is good, but when arrogance enters the picture, pfft. So, what else do you wish from me? He sure is arrogant. Ooh, I can order more Do you think food? I could order oh, something? So hungry, Go right yeah. ahead. But it is no longer my treat. Okay, I just want to order something. Okay, by me. Le count, s'il vous plaît. I don't even know how much money I have, but... Okay, what did I get last time? I don't remember. I think I got the creme de glace. I don't know. I can't pronounce anything. Let's try... Croque Monsieur. I'm sure that's precisely how she's going to say this. I would like the croque monsieur. D'accord. Wow, not even close. What is it? Ça fait 8 euros, s'il vous plaît. You need to give him 8 euros. Do I have 8? Oh, I have a lot. I That's eight. one less coin in my purse. Ah, ham and cheese grilled on a baguette. Ooh. One of my favorites. Yum. Mm. It actually looks really good. I mean, it's basically uh, that was wonderful. Open face grilled che ham and cheese. So, what else do you wish from me? That's it. Thank you for talking to me. D'accord. All right. So now, what am I doing? <laughs> Where? Let's just go back to the windmill. Uh, I'm sorry. It's not. We're in France. So what is it? Um, the Rouge. Or something like Moulin Rouge. All right, what am I supposed to be doing? What's up? Well, I'll see All you right. later. Allez, bye bye. Okay, bye. Okay, uh, I think the computer had a checklist. <laughs> All right, uh, I did that. Pick up. Fa fabric photos, deliver photos. Oh, fix plotter and then do whatever the hell Manel, uh, Minette, Manel wants. Sorry, I don't know where that name. Is this the plotter? Uh, okay. Is there like a manual or something? What's in my inventory? A camera, my pass, what is this? Oh, my calling card, Ooh, my calling card and my case file. I don't have much at all. What is going on? How do I fix that? I don't know. Um, let's go bug Minette. Go to the left. I remember to go to the left. I want to touch, but I know I'm not supposed to. What? Why do you wear that mask? Why do you wear that mask? This mask is a statement, Nancy. Mm. It's my way of telling society that it pays far too much attention to the face. I design clothes for the person. I'm telling society, forget the face. Look at the person. Look at my creations. The colors, the fabrics, the lines I choose. They are meant to enhance the person, not the face. The person. The face is inconsequential. All right, are you trying to save money on makeup? Makeup can be expensive. Um, this might upset her, but I'm gonna do it anyway. You don't really expect anyone to buy that, do you? 
Whether they buy it or not is their problem. Any more questions? True story. Does it I really matter? Back to work. Music to my ears. Okay, mm, bye. Okay, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I don't understand. No more tea. I'm not making any more tea. Damn it. What am I supposed to do? So I think I gotta get Heather out of the way. You're not messing with Manette's dodo box, are you? Nope. I gotta get Heather out of the way if I want to do that. I gotta fix the plotter, but I don't know what I'm doing. Is there like a... Manual or... just brute forcing this I guess <laughs> I guess V H and I is that like vertical horizontal and thickness thickness <laughs> I don't know all right so the vertical was off maybe let's turn everything down as far as I can and get a baseline And then we can go off the baseline to see where I need to move it. And I'll just go like one button at a time to see which way it moves it. So. Ooh, that's not good. I also don't understand what's happening. Why are the middle of the letters missing? That's cool. So if I turn this all the way up and leave the others down, what does that do? I think it's V for vertical? I mean, I know we're in France. Well, that definitely made it worse. Okay. So that is not the answer. What happens if I only turn it up to three? I got the middle back on the sides, but now I lost the top and the bottom. All right. I guess, okay, let's just brute force this then. So three, one, one wasn't it. What about two, one, one. All right, brute force it is. I'm not gonna make you guys sit through all this, so. Enjoy the highlight reel of my slow degradation into insanity. I mean, I can brute. Oh, that's. None of this makes sense! I don't understand. I mean, I can brute force this. What is there? Five options. Five. Oh, excuse me. Five options, three different ones. So that's like. Uh, Five times, well, an order matters. So five times four times three. So I find the first 20, 20 times. So there's 60 options here. Oh, God. Okay. Well, I'll be back. Okay, one, one, two, one. V is one. H is two. And 
I is one. All right, I did not expect that to work so quick. I thought this was gonna be a much longer journey, but I'm not a phone. Nancy, get the phone. I'm trying. Bonjour, Manette's House of Design. Bonjour, my name is Lynn Manrique. I'm with the Modern History Department at UC Kearns in the States, and I'm following up on the letter I sent to Manette about two weeks ago concerning Noisette Tornade. Okay. One moment, please. Uh, one moment, please. Heather, someone named Lynn from UC Kearns is following up on a letter about Noisette Tornade. Tell her we're sorry, but Manette is extremely busy and won't be able to get back to her for oh, at wow. least six weeks. I'm sorry, but... I heard. Well, six weeks it is, then. Thank you, anyway. Cool. Also didn't realize there's a phone right here to call my friends. Um, so that's a thing I learned as well. All right, well, I feel very accomplished. I got the pictures done. I got the printer fixed, so that's exciting. And that triggered the phone call, which means we are progressing in the mystery. All right, so we're going to end this episode right here. And I cannot wait to play more of this. Oh, just so you guys know, with all of the holidays in the new year and my birthday and my boyfriend's birthday and our anniversary and my dad's birthday, it is an extremely busy um, about a month and a half. <laughs> so, um, give me a little bit of grace. I am going to be doing two videos a week. I will put, uh, some Mystery Mondays with some Nancy. We'll see her on Mondays. And then I will be doing another game on Fridays. And then, as always, every Wednesday night, please join me for What's Up Wednesday over on Facebook. Uh, link in the description. And we stream starting at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Just What's Up Wednesday. Come and just chat with us. You don't have to know the game that we're playing. We're playing Dead by Daylight. I think I can turn the gore off. And by gore, I mean cartoon version blood. But I'm going to go ahead and I'll turn that off. Uh, we talk about everything. Please join us. Tell us what's up. That's kind of the point of the stream. So I hope to see you guys later today. Bye.